At UCSF, we are participating in a number of clinical trials. Right now, we are uh, the trials that are enrolling patients are purely observational, which are intended to help us better understand how different kinds of mutations and different retinal degenerations cause vision loss. We are also participating in three treatment trials. Two of them involve an experimental growth factor therapy known as ciliary neurotrophic factor, or CNTF. In these clinical trials, which are not enrolling patients at the moment, uh, patients are randomly assigned to receive either a low dose or a high dose of a treatment called CNTF. This is a device, this is delivered through a device that is surgically implanted into one eye, where uh, the second eye is used, is considered a control comparative eye that receives just a sham surgery. Um, and patients are followed over time to determine whether their visual acuity and visual field is getting, is how to determine at what rate their visual acuity and visual field is changing over time. Uh, those studies are nearing completion, uh, and the results from those studies should be are coming out gradually um, every day. Hopefully, there will be even more information forthcoming from them in the near future. We are also a part of a phase one study, which is again a safety study, looking at restoration of sight to patients with severe vision loss from advanced retinitis pigmentosa. Uh, this is a study conducted by Second Sight Medical Products, Inc., which uh, is investigating an epiretinal prosthetic device that works in conjunction with a camera that's situated in a pair of glasses that the patient wears on their eyes. The little camera, takes pictures of the world and communicates that information to a chip that sits on the retina, which then stimulates the inner retina that has not degenerated from the retinal degeneration uh, and communicates that information through the optic nerve to the brain to restore some rudimentary sight to people who have lost profound amounts of vision. At the present time, that technology, again, is limited to people who have really lost the ability to even perceive light. But it's so far showing promise for people who have very profound vision loss in helping to restore some sense of light, um, some perception of large, high contrast targets.